Hello everyone, I'm Chris Hughes and thanks for watching the CarolinaPreps.com High School Football Preview Show. Over the course of the next 18 days, we're going to continue to preview each and every conference in North Carolina. We'll continue today with the 1A Yadkin Valley Conference. For years, the YVC has been one of the best 1A leagues in the state. If you think back to all the dominance from teams like Albemarle, Thomasville, West Montgomery, and North Rowan, this conference has certainly seen its fair share of state championship appearances. Last year, West Montgomery ran roughshod through the conference en route to a 15-1 season that unfortunately saw them fall short in the title game against Wallace Rose Hill. Fast forward a year and West Montgomery should still be a very solid team, but a hectic offseason could prove to provide a slower start than hoped for for the Warriors fans. When it was announced that West head coach Nick Eddins was headed to Crest, a flurry of coaches inquired about the position and Vance Hanner was hired. However, a few short weeks later, Hanner steps down and in comes Danny Akins, former Albemarle head football coach who won the last championship for the Bulldogs in 20, uh, 2009. I do think, though, the West will once again be in the mix for the championship this year. They're certainly going to be one of the top teams, but I'm not sure they're the best team. North Orleans, North Orleans obviously comes down from the two-way ranks. Head coach Ben Hampton's Cavaliers could certainly spoil that party, but I think we also have to consider North Stanley as one of the top three teams. Mid-pack mid teams will be teams like Chatham Central, North Moore, South Stanley. And with the coaching change in Albemarle, we'll kind of have to play a wait-and-see approach with the Bulldogs. South Davidson, though, if you remember, did not play a complete 1A uh, varsity season last year. Uh, they played a lot of JVs on the JV Thursday night game, so we'll be interested to see how those guys move up. All right, guys, let's go to the hotline to talk uh, to the head football coach of the North Rowan Cavaliers, Coach Ben Hampton, on the Dynamic Fitness Hotline. All right, now here on the hotline, North Rowan head football coach Ben Hampton. The Cavaliers moved down from the 2A ranks to Central Carolina Conference into the 1A Yadkin Valley Conference. They've been there before, so it shouldn't be too much of a transition. Here to talk about it is the new head coach, Coach Hampton. Hey, thanks for joining us here today, and uh, interesting to get your perspective on what you think your Cavaliers are going to look like this year and talk a little bit about the conference. Well, of course, you know, we're, we, uh, we lost quite a few seniors, um, Kind of in the same situation we were uh, three years ago when we lost uh, seniors at every skill position on offense. But we're turning a lot of young guys that have Friday night experience. Um, defensively, we're turning a solid amount. You know, we lose a we lose a Division One DN in the Bose, who's at the Junior Tech. Division uh, Two nose guard in Thurston, who's at Catawba. Um, linebacker going to Clemson. So I mean, we've definitely got some holes to fill on the defense side of the ball and the offensive side of the ball, but. We've got young guys that have some playing experience, and we've got young guys who have sold out all summer long. So we're looking forward to going back into the YBC. Um, you know, a lot of travel, but uh, we'll, we'll see some solid football teams. I think uh, North Stanley's got a chance uh, this year to be pretty jaggone good. And I think, you know, Westmont, uh, as usual, year in and year out, has a chance to make a run deep into the playoffs. Um, I know, you know, Westmont's uh, meeting this challenge of a, of a new head coach and, and so is Albemarle. So, I mean, yeah, at this point, being at, being four years removed from YBC, I think, you know, any any preconceived notions or ideas we have as a staff, uh, you know, uh, go for naught right now. I mean, we, we're, we're going to be interested in, in getting film as soon as we can every weekend and and really uh, breaking down game film and seeing what our, our opponents are going to do because we, we've been four years removed. And, you know, in that amount of time, a lot can change in the game of football. Well, absolutely, and, and I'm in 100% agreement with you in the fact that I do think that North Stanley could be one of the sneaky favorites in the league. Obviously, I think that you guys are going to be very much in, in, in the middle of it, and and by the result of ranking you guys in the top five in the 1A, uh, I may have unfortunately put some pressure on you, but every year, and you know I've been around Rowan County for most of my life, and I've seen a lot of North Rowan teams come and go, and, and I've seen so many years, well, talent's gone, a lot of guys graduate, and you guys just continue to, to reload with uh, young men from up there in that Spencer and East Spencer area. So so I do feel like the cupboards aren't bare, but I, I can understand your sense to where, you know, we do have a lot of holes to fill. Well, you know, we uh, we try to put the pressure on the kids. Uh, you know, uh, typically you don't, you know, you don't start a lot of freshmen on Friday nights, and then you really don't even want to bring them up on varsity period unless they're going to get adequate time. But we try to hold their feet to the fire and make them accountable. Um in our aspirations of going to the playoffs every year, we try to we try to schedule a, a, a heavy non-conference schedule. So uh, 
you know, this year we open up with Salisbury, which it doesn't matter who's good and who's not good. Every year that game's going to be a hard football game. Um, we go to Western Wayne week two, uh, you know, a perennial 3A player um, who went to the third round last year. And uh, then week three, we've got uh, Lexington, um, who's always got the athletes and, 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 and speed to be dangerous. And then week four, we come back with the three of Jesse Carson. So, you know, we, we try to do that in preparation for so we don't get surprised in conference and, you know, uh, for the mentality of we're not going to take the easy road out, you know, to, to beat a man, you got to beat the man. And, um, and you know, I think uh, the South Bay North Atlanta matchup is one, like you said, these the Rowan County people love to see you and you out. I think the Western and North Carolina matchups is going to be a, a big draw for, for years to come, hopefully. Certainly, and, and not to mention here in about 12 days over at Mooresville, we'll be having you guys as our guest once again uh, about the fourth year in a row at the Carolina Preps Jamboree, taking on uh, a coach that you're very well familiar with and DeVore Holman, previously at Davie County, now at West Caldwell, who's another one of those 2A moving up to 3A teams that's really strong. So, so that's going to give you guys a lot to work with moving into the first week. Yeah, I mean, you know, we uh we're actually going uh, August 9th. We're gonna go up and and practice with Davey, uh coach Hol- coach Holman's uh former team, um where Coach Devers is now. We're gonna go practice with him, have a little you know one on one session with them, get some good work against a a very competitive 4A school. You know they're another school that made a run in the playoffs last year, and then uh then we're gonna turn around and come up to Morgan. You, you know you guys have been gracious enough to invite us again this year, and uh, and scrimmage against Coach Holman. You know we know that. West Caldwell will be very well prepared um, and, and very well coached. So uh, we're looking forward to it. You know, it's always great to uh, to have a competitive scrimmage going into that first game of the season. I think, you know, in the past four or five years of North Carolina, that's really given us an edge going into the season is, you know, we play a game-like situation, one half of football against a pretty solid football team, you know. And so that, that's a great lead-in to our season, and, and we just appreciate y'all having us. Thanks, everyone, for joining us here on the CarolinaPreps.com High School Football Preview of the 1A Yadkin Valley Conference. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at CarolinaPreps1 and join the fan forums to discuss your favorite teams. I'm Chris Hughes. We'll catch you next time.